hi there and welcome back to my channel i am shay the nifty mom if this is your first time of stopping by this channel you're welcome but don't forget to hit the red button to subscribe and the bell button to stay notified to the old subscribers thank you so much for sticking with me so today i'm going to be showing you how i made this character puzzles so if you want to see how i made it keep on watching So here's a list showing the items you're going to need to recreate this play. So I already have all my items ready. I have printed out the favorite character my daughter likes currently, which is Owlet and Peppa Pig. So after I printed out the images, I went ahead to laminate it for durability. And when I was done, on a brown carton, I glued on a white paper which is going to make the background of my photo frame you know to give it a fancy and nice finishing so I glued the white paper on it and then stuck together and that was it so up next I went ahead to measure the to measure the outlet picture frame to be sure the size was going to be perfect for the area I'm going to I am going to cut out on the other brown carton so please watch it very well watch it closely right now I am making the picture frame so the picture frame is what is going to be a uh, board for the puzzles so right now you can see me measuring the size of the picture to be sure of where I am going to cut out so once I was done measuring this, all I did was use the craft stick as my ruler. You can use an actual ruler or you use the craft stick. This was what was nearest to me at that time and that was what I just used. So then I went ahead to use the knife cutter and I cut out the shape I wanted. I cut it out and that was it. After that, I used the glue stick to glue on my other cardboard. Now I went ahead to stick the picture on a black foam now you can as well use a brown carton if you don't have a black foam this is this is needed for it to make the puzzles tiles to make it add to touch like it's not going to it's going to last longer and it's not going to easily tear or you know get worn out so i did the same thing for the pepper picture frame too which is what i'm doing now so yeah just the same way I did the first one is the same way I'm going to do the second one. Use the glue, glue on. You see, it's super easy. And yes, so keep on watching to see how the rest of the activity, sorry, the rest of the creation goes. Alrighty. So now I'm all done and now I'm going to be dividing the pictures into six. You can go ahead and divide the puzzles into whatever numbers you want to recreate depending on the age of your child. I did it this way because it's going to be easy for my child to hold because she's just two. It's going to be easy for her to hold in that big, in these big sizes I'm cutting it in. So if your child is much older and all of that, you can as well cut it into smaller pieces to make it easy for your child to you know play with and do the puzzles so after this i went ahead to write on numbers you know to make it easy for my two-year-old daughter to understand the arrangement so that way she's going to be able to place it easily and as well get to learn her numbers win-win right <laughs> okay so that's just about it simple to create can do it you can do this just like that <laughs> so, thank you so much for watching don't forget to watch this video to the end to see how my daughter played with it and yes don't forget to share don't forget to like don't forget to comment don't forget to you know let me know what you think about it your your comments are going to be inspiring and it's going to push me to do more and it's going to also help my videos reach more audience so that my youtube page can grow more and more thanks so much and 
see you on the next video. Bye bye. Thank you.